Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. Uh, this is fifth video in the series of Learn Django 3 by building a blogging application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pagination in your Django application. So you can see this is pagination on the index page. So I can go to the very first page or home page and this is a list view or index page for the posts and articles and it says I've got three pages and right now I'm on at first page and I can go to the very uh, last page or I can go to the next and once I go to next page I will have a few more options so I can go to previous page next page and very first page now that's the pagination uh, that you get with paginator class that's basically a, a class the other thing that I've done here I, I can go to the very next and previous post as well if I am on a single post you can see it here I can go to the next page which is fifth you can see the ID number four here and if when I put the cursor over here look at here so you can see I can go to fifth and I can also go to the third post so this is next and this is previous and when I go to the very first post or very last post I will have this option this says go home so similarly if I go to very last post which is number seven I guess so this is last post and I will have home button so that's all feature that we are going to build in this video so let's go ahead and launch the uh, whatever text id you have so this is basically the blogging app and we are going to use this paginator class from this module paginator you can see here so this is what we have to do so there are a few ways you can use paginator in Django um, project this is basically one example and we are going to use this class page paginator and then you have in list view but this video is going to focus on using paginator in, in a view so we will quickly go ahead and open the views views.py in blog application and we will import this class and then we will start using it so you can see uh, this is basically we are going to give tell the paginator class take this uh, entry list of entries and paginate with these num this number of uh, entries or posts or articles so this says 25 then you are going to use request get http method to get this page uh, so page is this is what it says if you go to second page here next page this page you see this is what it's talking about so page and then request get page then it's, it's going to create a uh, page and get page and then again so this post uh, sorry contacts contacts will go here under render not this one okay so this time this will go so here we are then we will go ahead and take this component and put this in the pagination component and we will put this in the index.html or list blog post whatever name you have given to your list blog post uh, template html file so let's go ahead and quickly build it here we are so I'm quickly going to blog application and then views.py and you can see I'm just importing this paginator class so simply type from django.core.paginator import paginator with uppercase because it's a class then what I'm doing here you can see these are three lines that you need to write to to make paginator functional for your application so you can say whatever you want 
this is completely your style name it the way you want you simply say paginator then you say call the paginator uh, class this is kind of an instance and then you give two values so you're giving articles and this is coming from here so all the lists of entries and then paginate by this number so these number of entries will be displaying on a single page so this is what it says here now we are going to use get request HTTP request that is going to create a, a page a single page and this is going to be put in the URL so it's talking about this here this page okay now let's go back and then you will create this paginator here you're taking get page uh, method and then you're giving this page here and don't forget to create um, a hash or dictionary here in the render method so that's all you have to do here and once you are done here go to this uh, pagination documentation page copy this component pagination component from here go to your templates wherever it is go to index and so you will not see this section in your application this is what I have added so I created a row class and then I put the component pagination component from this documentation page and after doing that I've changed that context with post which is from here so this is post or here okay so I'm taking post uh, I'm replacing contacts wherever you see contacts or so here you simply have to replace with the posts or whatever name you have given to it so go ahead and delete them like that and type posts save it and you are done your pagination will start working go ahead and refresh it everything is working fine I can go to home page and then go to next previous whatever okay so let's go ahead and create this next and previous buttons for single dot HTML these for this uh, basically this is completely different thing so we will go to views and we will write this two lines of codes here and then these two lines of codes okay so you simply say next post or whatever you want and then you'll take this article class which you have here and then you will say objects dot filter ID greater than these are double uh, two underscores okay so ID underscore underscore greater than and these are inbuilt filters for Django okay and then you say single dot ID so I'm taking single this ID and then you say order by dot order by ID and then you are going to take the very first entry within whatever is greater than this current ID okay similarly I'm going to say previous post and I'm going to say less than single ID the current ID order by ID and then I'm going to take the last one whatever is less than the current ID I'm going to take the last uh, entry from that and then what you need to do you need to create this give this um, values to your single dot HTML by adding to this dictionary 
or hash whatever you call it okay so you can see here pre pre first and next first and now these are going to be available to your single dot html and what i've done i've created this here so let me quickly go ahead and explain this to you these are completely optional things here okay here we go uh, this is the basic forget this if and else where as soon as you put this under this anchor tag you simply say in hrf you simply say static underscore url and then you give a slash forward slash and then you say priv post dot id and then here you simply type uh, give the priv post name okay and here similarly goes with this one so you simply say static url and then next post id and then the title of the next post okay once that's done you'll start getting this next post previous post so st to stop the loop uh, what I've done I have created this if and if and else control flow so basically I'm, s I'm saying if pref post then give this one else go ahead and say s uh, give home like home and when somebody clicks uh, at home take to the uh, index dot so basically home button so go to home page similarly I'm doing here so if next post go ahead and do so uh, till there is um, a value in this uh, ID you keep typing this uh, title the first title otherwise you simply say home and when somebody clicks at it take it to this index.html so that's how I basically created it now you can go ahead and play with it if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below and I will try to answer it ASAP thanks again and happy coding bye for now